<laughs> I should be in the movies. Some Jackie Chan stuff right here. <laughs> I freaking love this. Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to Firearms of America. And today I am very happy because finally, finally, I have my own shoulder holster system. And this is a shoulder holster rig from Acre. This is Comfort Flex 101, a very popular shoulder holster system. You can check it out on Amazon. I put the link in the description below and also from their own website. Keep in mind, you can get it a little bit cheaper from Amazon, about $30 cheaper, but it is a little bit harder to find your particular firearm. There are, they have a lot more different options on their website. Okay, so what can I say about this shoulder holster system? Well, for a very long time I've been telling this and really this is a matter of preference. I've been saying that the most comfortable holster out there is a shoulder holster system. You just cannot find something that is more versatile, more, more comfortable, something that you can wear all day without taking it off like myself. Today I have been wearing it as you can see while cooking. And uh, yes, I do make my uh, burgers in the oven. Don't hate. And yes, I do make my uh, french fries in the oven too. Don't hate again. <laughs> or, or doing uh, my, my shores uh, and stuff like that. This system is very comfortable. Uh, you don't really notice it whenever you're sitting. You don't really notice it whenever you're walking around doing stuff. So, so if you are looking at this system in particular, go ahead and buy it. And there is nothing in here. Uh, one important thing I wanted to point out here, if this is your first time ever getting uh, a shoulder holster system, uh, specifically for your 1911, because really that's, uh, you have to make sure that it is actually cocked and no, in normal situation obviously is gonna be loaded. Uh, with the safety on or safety off, however you prefer to carry it. But why am I pointing this out is because if you don't have it cocked, you won't be able to lock the button here because as you can see, it goes over. And if it's not cocked, obviously you have hammer in the way. So make sure, just, just a little recommendation. Now I haven't really seen a lot of complaints regarding this shoulder holster system. But the ones that I saw actually were pertaining to the fitment, to the adjustment, and to the warranty. Okay, so let's start with the fitment. It is a, a few tips. Again, it comes down really to the personal preference. There is really no right or wrong. Well, I'm sure there are a lot of wrong ways to carry it, you know, whenever you're wearing a whole, the, the shoulder holster system. But uh, <laughs> the, the preferred way, the recommended way is obviously, and I've seen, I've seen that a lot, a lot of reviewers on Amazon specifically who post the pictures and even some YouTube reviewers. Uh, they are carrying the both magazine pouch and the holster itself too low. And whenever you're carrying it too low, whenever you don't have it adjusted properly, what happens is basically whenever you're moving around and I'm gonna drop my camera right now, whenever you're moving around, you have the, your gun obviously flopping around, your magazines are flopping around. Obviously that, that takes away from the comfort a lot. Now, if you are not moving around, right? If you're not doing anything, if you're not running or doing something like this, for example, <laughs> obviously it's not very noticeable but however if you do adjust it properly first of all first of all it will add up to the comfort it will add up to the easiness of the draw and of course it's going to be much more enjoyable to wear your holster system for extended periods of time so the typical recommended way is to make sure that your gun is up almost to your armpit, probably about two inches below. So it's really up there and uh, you are kind of holding it in place whenever your arms are hanging out. And the same thing goes for your magazine pouch. Now with this particular shoulder holster, uh, Acre 101 Comfort Flex, 
you can adjust the angle of the gun and as you can see i have it a little bit tilted forward i do prefer to carry it that way a little bit more just because of that natural of that natural draw just hanging out a little bit lower however if you are planning to carry this shoulder holster with a full-size pistol like for example my 1911 concealed with a suit for example I do recommend getting a vertical one just because it's gonna conceal it a little better now as you can see it still looks pretty good and concealed with the suit but you still do have a little bit of that bump especially if you well I wear very slim suit but <laughs> you, you get the point you do get a little bit of that bump with the full size 1911 obviously if you get a smaller if you have a smaller pistol uh, you might not have that problem and the same goes wearing this system with a regular jacket again you can get away wearing it concealed but however if you have a full size pistol I do recommend getting a vertical one just because of that better concealment all right another uh little advice that i wanted to give you here regarding i'll probably make a separate video specifically on the adjustment and on wearing the shoulder holster system but really quickly you want to make sure that the uh this point of connection here is not sitting up on the base of your neck and not sitting too low on your back but it's kind of holding your back straight kind of uh, kind of like a back support yeah so if you have a crooked back this might actually help all right now a little bit about the uh magazine pouch as you can see there are two spaces i really do like the fact that whenever you do open as you can see even though it's pointing all the way down whenever you do open your magazine pouch the magazine doesn't just fall out of there you actually do have to carry it out plus plus if you do want to add or release some tension you can by uh, messing with these adjustment screws right here now the adjustment of the holster itself is very straightforward it's very simple uh, there are Chicago style screws that's what they're called I don't know why they're called that but they're called that <laughs> here that you really don't even need a screwdriver to unlock one of those you can put in a little bit of uh, pressure with your fingers and you can unscrew that with your fingers uh, but again it's it's very simple it's very straightforward also for those who do have a six hour 1911s uh, currently acre on their website they do not have any six hour 1911 uh, holsters available however if you do have a standard form a garment officer uh, or commander 1911 like for example mine 1911 nightmare from six hour uh, it will fit in a standard 1911 holster uh, this one in particular is cold 1911 uh, so if you do have one of those standards without the rail without any attachments and without because you know some some new six hour they're messing with the safety and they're making safety uh switch on both sides make sure that it's only on one side it will definitely fit in this holster a little bit about the material we have the rear plate is actually some heavy duty plastic it's a double plate uh all the screws are actually made out of metal and then the tension uh clamps are made out of the heavy duty plastic as well as the attachments themselves the leather is a full grain premium leather and it feels very nicely and i absolutely love the stitching and the siding that ecker implemented here it just looks beautiful and it feels absolutely great now the brand new acre 101 comfort black holster comes in a nice packaging and i really like the fact that it is actually already assembled it's already put together so the magazine pouch is connected the holster is connected you don't need to assemble anything uh it is set on the maximum setting on the biggest setting so you do have to adjust it to your size and i highly recommend to have a friend 
adjust it on you just because it's much easier. Now I had to adjust it myself so it took me a little bit longer ever since I started a conservative firearm YouTube channel I don't really have any friends left. <laughs> Seriously though, uh, one thing I wanted to mention here uh, regarding the extra leather you will have some extra leather hanging out and uh, I did cut off some of it already as you can see but I did not cut off everything I did leave one extra just in case and I do recommend to do that for you as well don't cut it off don't be too fast to cut it off because you know wear it for a day or two and see if it fits because you might want to adjust it a little bit you don't want to cut off too early okay uh, now one thing uh, that I wanted to mention here is regarding the warranty a lot of, not a lot of why I always say a lot of uh, some of the negative comments that I've seen uh, regarding Acre is specifically, specifically because of their warranty, which says, which says, and they send the paper piece and they do have the same thing on the website. All Acre products are sold as is and with all faults. The entire risk as to the quality and performance is with the buyer. Should any Acre product prove defective following its purchase, the buyer, not the manufacturer, distributor, or retailer, assumes the entire risk of all necessary servicing or repair. However, I wanted to point out one more thing. Yes, I know it doesn't sound very promising, right? You would expect, you know, one or two or three years of manufacturer's warranty. However, I have not seen a single complaint regarding the quality of the manufacturers. That's number one. Number two, Acre has been doing their, their United States company, right? They're, they're here in the USA and they have been making products since, since 1981. And number one choice for LA Police Department. Again, if, you know, if the quality was iffy and if they have been making these excuses with their not giving any warranty due to bad quality, I don't think they would have been a number one choice for the law enforcement. Uh, and another thing I wanted to point out is they do actually talk about the re return and refund policy on their website. So even though they say they sell everything as is, they still take products back and you can you can check it out again the link is in the description below so they do have the return policy so again you know if you are looking at the buy, buying the acre holster system and this is what is you know on your mind and you worry about it don't other than that i do absolutely love my new acre holder shoulder system it's definitely definitely very comfortable it's very lightweight it allows for a quick draw and most likely this is the system that I will be taking on my ultimate survival adventure. The brand new section that I am starting pretty soon, maybe in, in a week or two, I'm still waiting for a few of my survival gear as a part of this. Basically the very first episode from the section is going to be me uh, covering a lot of distance. A lot of distance is going, it's going to be about five miles one way well, one way and then return, obviously. So 10 miles, go wa walking through the wilderness uh, with approximately 40 pounds on me. So a lot of weight. Yeah, not easy. And then it's going to be a kayak trip down a huge Calusahatchee River that we have here in Southwest Florida. Uh, traveling about 13 miles one way, a lot of traveling to an uninhibited island. Yes, yes, uninhibited island. And I will be actually camping on that uninhibited island. We'll see how long the uh, locals will allow me to do to, to camp over there. And when I say locals, I mean snakes and alligators and everybody else who hangs out on that uninhibited by humans island. So we'll see, it's going to be fun. Anyway, this is the system that I will most likely be taking with me. Why I say most likely is because I do have a few more shoulder holster systems coming, which I will do a big comparison whenever I get all of them just to help you guys decide which one you like more which one is your choice so make sure to subscribe so you don't miss it thank you very much guys for watching again this was Acre 101 shoulder holster system comfort flex and I I I absolutely love it I think this is just this is gonna be my uh, normal outfit you know walking around walking about the day can't wait till they do an open carry in Florida so, so I can just wear it everywhere I go. 
Thank you for much, you guys for watching. This was Firearms of America, and I'll see you guys in the next video.